is going to start de-layering the building. No. We'll be taking one layer off at a time in order to make sure that there are no more victims or there are no more animals inside the building. We have found two uh, dogs that we rescued out of the neighboring building that they've been taken to a animal hospital where you're expected to recover. The missing person or the one person that was unaccounted for has been located in Irvington and or Maplewood and that person is fine and safe. And I currently believe he is with his mother in the hospital who has suffered minor injuries. Uh, we're concerned about the alleyway and making sure that as that's de-layered, the alleyway has an awful lot of debris in it. Uh, we have some file footage that Brian asked about on camera. The, uh, all you can see is the top of the building getting blown up and a fireball coming out. Technically using that as part of the investigation at the current time to see if they can isolate what happened. We don't expect to have an answer on exactly what happened for a few more hours, possibly tomorrow morning. It's going to take a lot of hours to take this off layer by layer and make sure there's no one else in there. I was over at a shelter and met with some of the families who have mostly been relocated in these other seven buildings to neighboring hotels. Uh, they were concerned about the adult male who lost his life. They, they knew him, uh, a nice young man, they said, and uh, their prayers are with that young man and his family. Do you have any further update on questions? Yeah, will you really there will be. Just, I'm not going to show you much to show a puff in the air. If we can make it available, we will. just wanted to clarify, uh, 16 rescued in all. Well, 15 rescued, one fatality. One fatality. All from one building or the seven? You know. The 15 rescued were from the one building. Just all from that one. The other ones all self evacuated. So with the, the total number in the house was 16 with one fatal? Correct. Okay. And what started at 13 in the early morning, and if, uh, for those that were here at 12, it was up to 16. And uh, well, it grew to 14 in between. Yeah, now it's 16. One fatality of that 16. Two were in critically injured, including an 11 year old boy. They were medevac to St. Barnabas, and the others are being treated at local hospitals, and we believe are not in danger of anything serious. We do not know that answer until we start to delay it. Uh, people, a lot of people in the duplex. It's on the records as a duplex apartment, two units. It's also a holiday. Those young people wouldn't have been there if they were in school, but because schools are closed today, and they were home, otherwise they would have been home for school. Today. I don't know how many people worked and had a holiday today either. That I'm not aware of. Um, whether it was chopped up or not, we're not going to know it until it was delayered. If it was chopped up, and, uh, uh, or if we find propane or any illegal substance or something along that nature, it'll be referred to the Union County Prosecutor's Office for, for additional follow-up. Did you have to ask the gas company that question? We didn't get any complaints yesterday. However, when we arrived on the scene, there were people in the neighborhood who told the first responders that they smelled gas. I don't know whether that was after the fact or before the fact, but our departments did not receive any calls yesterday. Mayor, do you have a number on how many displaced people you're dealing with now um, in all of these homes and what's going to happen to them? I, I know of at least 30 people that have been placed in hotels based on our relocation office, the Reverend Joe there, and the Red Cross that's in process. Most of the next of kin of the deceased individual are in the hospital. Okay. Any stats you can tell us? I can tell you it's an adult, I believe, African American man. Thank you. Can you tell us the relationship between the people? I apologize, I just stopped. I do not know the relationship of all the people. 
Uh, it's two different units. I, I don't know whose cousins and whose brothers and sisters are. No, I don't know that information. It's all being done for the interview. Pardon? Maybe Chief Shannon can just talk about the difficult, uh, about the investigation in this. You know, this like, is a, um, this is a combined up investigation. Actually, the fire department wants to even take the lead on this. We act as liaisons with them and notify the county prosecutor's office if anything is determined to be illegal. Uh, so right now we, we are in the initial stages and we really haven't gotten to the heart of the matter yet. As the mayor said, this has to be too layered. And as that we can layer it, we can layer it, it's like we're in an onion and find different aspects of the investigation and actually invest in the conclusion. Can you tell us about the person who died? Do you know how he died? No, that would have to be Do you believe he was in the rear of the building? Upstairs on the second floor. In the rear of the building? In the rear. In the rear. Uh, yeah, it's split off. It could, could be right next to the kitchen, you know, depending on the actual location. The kitchen and the bedroom. Right. Is the gas company here? Yeah, the gas company is on the scene. Uh, I don't know if they have a public affairs person. The people that are on the scene are on the scene. No, it's definitely a gas episode, whether it is a natural gas episode or there is an illegal gas connection or there's propane has yet to be determined during the initial investigation, during the initial walkthrough, and at, at the start of the shoring up of the building, there's been no visible sign of propane at this time. How long do you think it will take to identify if there was any illegal activity going on? It will not be this evening. Uh, I would guess the earliest we're going to know that is sometime tomorrow. Mayor, did you say who was doing the delayering? Was it the fire department? We've hired, no, we've hired a contractor. Is it, do you know the name of the contractor? Uh, the housing department is hired. I can get that for you, but the housing department has called in an emergency contract, uh, and they're on their way getting the necessary equipment together. So we're hours away from a uh, complete solution. What time did the fire start? What time did the fire start? There was no fire. There was an 8 o'clock in the morning call from 1031 Magnolia Avenue. The episode is at a different address, which I think is 1035 and then 1037. Is that correct? Yes. Yeah. So there was a flash fire at the explosion, but the fire self extinguished once the gas was out of the way and nothing else caught. As the fire chief said earlier, if there was a fire, we would be looking at a much more serious situation and and the 15 people that were rescued probably would have expired if there was a full fire Thank you. you hope to release that video, the video? I mean, yeah i mean it doesn't show a heck of a lot but I, I guess it would look good on tv that's probably why you want that uh chief shannon will get the video it was taken from magnolia beach and it it's, it's hard because it shows all of these buildings in a way, but it does show the roof going up and a fireball coming out at about 7.52 in the morning. And then we received a call shortly thereafter and uh, we're on the scene very quickly, otherwise these people would have never survived. How are we getting the video? Chief, how are we getting the video? Well, they already got it. No, we don't. So we can, how are we going to get the video? I, 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 I can't. This is like somebody got it. I mean, if you want it, uh, you want it. I don't know. We can, we can send it to you. Want to? I can. Email. Yeah, yeah, emails. We can do that. If you want to give us emails? We can send the video to you. Is that a problem? You got to give us a call. I know you guys are in a hurry, but you know. <laughs>
<laughs> we'll be done before your five o'clock news. Uh, do you need another updated five o'clock or anything? Or are you good? Or, uh, I don't think there's going to be anything new at five o'clock. You want to write down your emails on a piece of paper and we'll send it to you. Uh, here's a paper. Just write down all your pictures. It's legible. And we'll send the email out of, the, uh, of that video. I think that's good. Thank you. So there'll be no more updates. You can call my public information officer if you need further. Right, thank you. I don't think hey guys. Oh, thank you.